Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an anti-haul video and if you don't know what that is, it was created I believe by Kimberly Clark who does these great videos. I am definitely not as funny but I think it's a great idea. As you guys know if you watch my channel, I very much believe in buying less and thinking more about your purchases. Hauls are just kind of this crazy promotion of mass consumption and fast fashion, which obviously I'm not into, so I love the idea of flipping the script and instead talking about things that you're not going to buy. So coming into a new season, there's always new fashion trends and talk about buying new clothes and beauty products. So the first trend or popular clothing item that I've seen a lot of that I will not be buying is the slogan tee. And now I really like that people are expressing their beliefs and thoughts. And I think especially with just so much political turmoil in the world, I do think that it's cool that people are making a statement. But for me personally, I've never liked writing on t-shirts. I don't particularly like the style of it or people reading what's on my shirt, but I really appreciate that people are using that to make a statement and I think it can look really great and also be effective at starting conversations. I just prefer to do that in different ways. And I guess I should say that just because I personally wouldn't buy something, it's not that I think it's bad, it's just not for me or my style. Next are the really wide leg pants, which I've seen a lot of. And while I think these can look really amazing on some people, I just think practically they wouldn't work so well in my wardrobe. I really enjoy playing with volume and different silhouettes, but a lot of the pieces that I currently have are quite large or loose on top, like large sweaters, drapey cardigans, looser t-shirts. So I feel like if I also had really wide leg pants, then I would just kind of be drowning in my clothes, especially as a person that's fairly short. I find that I do have to be careful with how I play with volume and I prefer to have more volume on top. I'm not opposed to them maybe in the future, but just right now with my current closet, I can't see them fitting in well and I would have to rework a lot of my wardrobe to accommodate them and to have lots of different combinations. The next fashion trend that I will not be purchasing is ruffles on anything. I've just never been a fan of ruffles. I can't even think if I've ever owned something that has had ruffles on it. It's just not a style that is appealing to me. And the last clothing item that I will not be purchasing for spring is anything pink. I have been seeing a ton of pink, bright pinks, nude pinks. I've talked before in my personal style video how I don't believe in following rules about colors that you can and can't wear or seasonal color palettes. I think it's really about wearing colors that you feel good in, but pink for me is not a color I feel good in. I think it's because I have a lot of pink undertones and get redness in my skin, so if I wear anything pink, I just look really pink, and I've never felt good in anything that's pink. So next, onto some beauty products I will not be purchasing, and the first is a primer. Now, I used to really like using a primer. I used the 100% Pure Luminous Primer, I believe it's called, and I really liked using it, but through trying various products, I realized that the reason that I liked using the primer was because it made the concealer I was using work. And I found that if I have a concealer that works better with my skin, and if I'm taking care of my skin properly, then I don't need the primer. The next beauty product I will not be purchasing is a bronzer. Now bronzer is kind of a staple beauty product, especially for spring, but I am completely overusing bronzer. Being very pale, I used to always want to look more tanned, but I've grown to really like my super pale skin, and I no longer have an interest in buying bronzers. And the final beauty products I will not be purchasing are sheet masks. And I feel like these are really popular, I see them everywhere. And my reason for not purchasing them doesn't have anything to do with the product or how well it does or doesn't work. I just feel like there's a lot of waste that comes with them because not only are they individually packaged in a larger package, but as far as I understand, the sheet mask also just gets thrown in the garbage after. But to me, that just seems like a lot of waste and I'd rather use a DIY mask or something that comes in a jar or just less packaging. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these or not. Also, I'd love to hear in the comments about something that you will not be buying. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to those of you supporting me on Patreon and I will see you in the next one.